Well, we do have a spotted cat, but it is definitely not Mr. Tingana. It is a female cheetah. We saw her briefly uh, a few days ago. I'm not sure of her name. I've sent off some ID shots uh, to the cheetah researchers to see if we can figure out who it is. But welcome to Kenya. My name is Brent Leo Smith. I have Dangerous Dave on camera, and we are in the Maasai Mara. We're in the Mara Triangle, and we've got a female cheetah who's resting up on top of a termite mound. Now, we're going to be playing the patience game this morning with her because she did stand up a little bit earlier and she looked like she's a little bit hungry. And uh, there are some Thompson's gazelles around. There's some impala. There's some water buck. And, oh, actually, there's another Thompson's gazelle that just popped up behind us. Dave, did you see it? Oh, okay, a little bit to the left. Zoom. Uh, there it is. Now, that is a cheetah's favorite food here. And uh, there's a couple more spread out, but I think she's playing the patience game because there are a lot of water buck around and uh, they're a little bit off to the left. And that's a little female Thompson's gazelle. If we have a look up to the left, you can see there's a lot of eyes to spot her. Oh, other left, Davi. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so there's probably about 25 or 30 water buck spread through there. And uh, of course, they are tall above the grass so they might spot her so and that's why she's probably keeping keeping it low for a while and hey congratulations Dina this is Dina's first female cheetah remember to use the hashtag safari live if you've got any questions for us and uh, it is very exciting to be here in the early cold morning in the Maasai Mara with a beautiful female cheetah look at that isn't she gorgeous and you can see how effectively she's using that termite mound her head pretty much just looks like an extension of the termite mound so what she'll be hoping is that one of the thompson's gazelles or impala uh, or some of the smaller antelope species wander a little bit close to her she does look quite hungry uh, we're going to be sticking right here for the foreseeable future to see what she gets up to Look at that. Oh, I wonder if she spotted that Thompson's gazelle. Mm, maybe. It's quite far away still, but I have seen cheetahs start hunting from five to six hundred meters away from their potential prey here in the Mara. Morning, Daniel. Daniel's wondering, is there a time difference between Kenya and South Africa? Indeed, there is. Um, what is the time here now, David? It, it is 8 o'clock in the morning here, or 5 to 8, so it'll be 5 to 7 in South Africa. So we are an hour ahead. So not too bad. Oh, there's some topi right in the distance there. Lots of, lots of animals around. So where's that big herd of buffalo gone? There we go, big herd of buffalo in the distance as well. Now, the what the cheetah's been waiting for is starting to happen. The water buck are slowly trying to make their way back towards the river areas. So they come out into the open here uh, to spend the night. So it's a little bit safer than around the watered areas. So they're slowly moving away down towards the river as it warms up and that will give that cheetah an opportunity possibly to get into those tommies or possibly even there's a big male impala here. Three Shu is wondering what is the cheetah population like in the Mara? Well for the whole Mara I'm not 100% certain just yet. There's that big male impala, oxpecker and rufous naped lark next to him. Well, Oxpeck is on him and a rufous snape lark on the bush next to him. Uh, well, I can tell you more or less the cheetah population for the Mara Triangle. Um, there are, do seem to be a few more cheetah on the other side of the river. But uh, Mara Triangle, this is what I know for certain. I'm still waiting and collecting data to be, make sure I don't tell any fibs. Uh, there, there's at least three females, possibly four females in the triangle. This being one of them. This is a female I don't know as well. Um, there's a female called Mlima, who, who is down uh, near the Tanzanian border, who we saw catch a Thompson's gazelle. And then there's uh, 
to a male coalition of two and a single male. But of course, remember, this is an open system, so it's constantly changing and uh, will, the numbers will increase and decrease. Now, because of the high population of hyenas and cheetahs in this particular section of the Mara, sometimes the cheetahs do have a bit of a hard time. Uh, on the other side, uh, there's just as many hyenas <laughs> and lions, uh, but there also are areas where the li hy lions and hyenas don't spend as much time, and you tend to find a few more cheetah in those areas. But we, well, I have to wait till I get all the data in and to find out how many cheetahs exactly. I'd probably guess there's probably in 60 to 70 different cheetah uh, in, in this area. Now, Lady Starfire is wondering how often do cheetahs feed. Now, again, like with most, most predators, it all depends on what they ate last. But I'd say, and especially in this area, because even if she kills something, we're in, in core North Clan hyena territory. Oh, how often do they breed? Sorry, I thought, how often do they feed? Um, sorry about that, Lady Starfire. Well, a very similar uh, to, to, to lions and leopards, and we'll wait till sort of 16 to 18 months till their cubs are independent, and then they will breed again. So, a similar gestation period to lions and leopards as well. Now, cheetah tend to give birth to more young than lions and leopards because they have a higher mortality rate. So it's not uncommon to see cheetah giving birth to up to six or seven cubs, but only one or two will probably survive and to adulthood, sometimes not even any. So it is a tough life being at the bottom of the predatory food chain. As I said, this is a, quite a risky area for, for them here. And this is a... A really, really high hyena zone. The North Clan of over 80 hyenas. Their, 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 their den is not too far from where we're sitting right now. So we're going to keep watching this beautiful female cheetah, who has probably got a name, but I don't know it just yet. Hopefully, I'll find it soon. So remember to keep a lookout for any identifying features on her. But while we do that, we're going to jump across all the way to South Africa to Jamie, who's going to welcome our school for the morning. Mm -hmm. 